All right, we continue our coverage of the 2024 NFL Scouting Combine. Joining us now, another quarterback. It's quarterback day. This is Florida State's Jordan Travis. Jordan, welcome. How are you, buddy? Great, man. Uh, just thankful to be here. Um, it's a dream come true. Um, at the end of the day, every day I wake up here, I'm like, it's a long day, but, man, you, you think about it, it's like this is what you dream for. I'm here with my teammates, um, roommates with Johnny, so it's a blessing, man. Um, all glory to God. All glory to my family. Um, just help me get here. And we got to give Jordan some props. And this may be one of those little things that the teams, you don't really know. You don't get a look into someone's character. Yeah. You know, you meet with them and guys say what they're supposed to say. Right. But we were interviewing somebody else and Jordan it was polite, patiently, in big time five us. minutes, didn't walk away, <laughs> just chilled and waited. And most that's people a, that's just a, go, that's screw test- Gloria, <laughs> I'm out of here. And they <laughs> leave. No, no, I'm gone. That. But can't that's a that. testament to your character. It's the kind of stuff, you know, that we say, the things that you do when people aren't looking, those are the things that reveal character. So that's a testament to you. It's because you, you, you know it's a busy day, but we appreciate that, and we appreciate you for hanging around and waiting for, course, for us to have a chance to get you up here. Of course, man. That's just me. My, my mom raised me right, man. Uh, yeah, got to give t- people the time of the day, no matter who they are. Um, the homeless man on the side of the street deserves a hello, too. Yeah, I hear um, that. So that's important, man. Yeah, oh, that's great. That's, yeah, that's a great, a great way to, to think there. What, uh, what did yeah, you – what age were you when you realized, I'm pretty good at football? Yeah. Um, I would say my sophomore year of college is when it really clicked in. Um, Coach Norvell came in and told me I played quarterback. Um, there was times early on in my career where I doubt, doubted myself. Um, I was just a young kid, an uh, immature kid. Uh, I just didn't have confidence. So I was probably say my sophomore year, probably about the, around the age of 19, 20. Uh, that changed, and it was all my teammates' help and Coach Lorvella for sure. You, you started at Louisville. Yes, sir. Right? What, you know, you're, you're a South Florida kid, right? Yes, Baller like all the damn South Florida kids are. Yes, sir. Right? But what made you change and, you know, change your mind and then go, go to Florida State? Honestly, man, it was just yo- a young kid. I mean, at the end of the day, I was 18 years old, going away from home for the first time. I think that was all it, all it was. People always ask me, and I can't put a finger around it. Yeah, I hear um, you. Yeah, just going away from home, man. I felt like God was taking me a different way. Um, you missed Florida. You missed being around I that. Did. I did a little bit. I yeah. did. I did. Yeah. I'm grateful I went to Florida State for sure. Uh, and, and, you know, sometimes it seems like bad things happen to really good people. I and mean, I feel like that's what happened to you this year. Sure. Right? I mean, how did – damn. I mean – yeah. You might be going to the national championship game. You guys got it going on, yes, and then you got hurt. Yes, sir. And I mean, that's it stunk for all of us, yes, right? I mean, it started the whole college football argument and 100%. the playoff and all that crap. Yes, I mean, how how'd you how'd you deal with that big negative in your life there? Um, God has a plan. That's it. That's all you can do is take it day by day. Um, if I can wake up in the morning, I I could breathe and I could open my eyes. I'm gonna put a smile on my face no matter what. Um, I, I've looked at this injury as kind of an opportunity, um, opportunity to make everyone around me happy. I mean, I'm, I wake up every single morning at my house. My mom's going to work. She's a nurse, and she works from 8 to 4.30. Um, I have opportunity when I walk out of the room to put a smile on my face. She probably thinks I'm going to feel sorry for myself. Um, I can motivate her for the day. I can motivate my dad, um, my friends. So there's, it's the little things in life that mean so much. And if I could breathe and I could smile, I'm good, man. That's all I need. Where do things way. stand now in the recovery? Um, yeah, so I got it on my boot last week, so I'm walking. Um, it's getting stronger every single day, so just trying to build back this leg back up, the calf, uh, the quad, all that stuff, so I'm ready to go in probably about two months. That's what was it, fibula? Or was it, yes, sir. It was fibula, yes, right? Sir. Yeah. Damn, I know. And you got yes, – he kind of got – he got a uh, horse hip drop. collar, hip, hip drop. drop tackle. He yes, got sir. hip drop, which is about to get out of the NFL because it happened to a bunch of guys this year, just yes, like you did. It's got to get out of college football too. It's gonna co- it cost my it's gonna cost my man money. All right, <laughs> that damn that damn tackle. <laughs> it definitely is. It's gonna cost you money, and that sucks. It really mm-hmm. does. Um, you know, talk about the things that you feel like you know, and when you do get healthy, that you want to work on in your game to to kind of go to the next level. Yeah, a little bit of everything, man. Um, Pocket presence, still growing as a leader. I feel like that's the most important thing is you have to lead these men. You're going into a room with a bunch of men. So that's what it is. They're trying to feed their families. You're trying to feed your families. So that's the most important thing. But on the field, I'll say, man, it's being more consistent. That's the main thing is be more consistent. I feel like I've, I've grown every single year um, with that type of stuff and the accuracy, owning the ball, uh, not putting the ball in jeopardy. So things like that, man. Um, there's so much room for improvement in my game, and it's just getting started. Yeah. What's the one thing you're working on the most to get better at? Um, I'll say right now with just coverages and stuff, because obviously NFL and college are very different. Um, the verbiage of plays, um, things like that. I mean, when I, when I can get, start getting into throwing more and more, um, 
obviously driving off my back foot. I feel like I throw off my back foot a lot. So, I mean, I think that was from early on in my career, just getting hit. So, I mean, I, once I get out of that little phase, I, I'm so consistent and so accurate. So you, you, you're working with somebody right now to kind of go over NFL plays and reading coverages and well, doing that? I will soon. Um, I've been yeah. in West Palm doing all my therapy stuff, just trying to get gotcha. healthy with that. So i kind of been doing that stuff just on, on your own. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, okay, sir. cool. Cool. That's, that's cool to hear. What about Florida State? You got some studs on your team. I don't want to hear about any of them. I want to hear about who the best player you played against in your college football career. Played against. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that one guy you're just like, damn, he's better. Whoa, I can't believe what he was on the field that day. Anybody pop out to you like that? I mean, there's a bunch. I know. Um, That's why you get your quarterback. You got that quarterback money. You got to answer tough questions. I do like uh, Trotter from Clemson. Mm. Um, I think he was he was a really special player. Um, the way he flies around, and he popped me one good time, so that's probably why he comes to my mind. Um, so yeah, I'll say Trotter or Cam Kitchens at Miami. Yeah, that Sorry. was that was your guy. Who's your who's your quarterback growing up? Like who's your who's mm. your idol now, or when you were younger, who, who were yeah. they? Um, when I was younger, I would say. Probably Cam Newton. I was my guy being a young kid and just watching him grow and yeah. everything. Um, right. Jameis Winston, obviously, you know, being a Florida, Florida State, State guy. Fan, I mean, yeah. That was my guy. You don't eat sure. any W's, do you? You nah. don't do any of that, right? <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, I was like, now Lamar Jackson. I'm just seeing how he, he carries himself. I feel like that's so big and obviously balls out on the field. Yeah, he does. You got the records at Florida State. Total touchdowns, 97. Total offense, 10,554 yards. So very prolific career who was your favorite nfl team growing up miami dolphins it was yes, sir being from south florida um yeah definitely miami dolphins don't you agree that they should go back to the old uniforms i kind of like the new uniforms. Oh, wow. yeah sure. you're the that's one right that's you're the right. one Wait, yeah, you like the old ones yeah i do i do i don't mind the new ones though yeah. i don't mind i don't mind them i don't a lot of fans want to go back to the old <laughs> yeah. ones but the the boss the owner of the team won't got gotcha. you so. so when i turn on the film here right and get on get going What's what's the game I should start with in Jordan Travis's mind where you go, oh, that, that'll be a good first impression for you to watch and, yeah. and get you going, Sims? I would say uh, Florida 2022. Okay. Um, I felt that was, that was kind of the game that boosted my confidence to the moon. I mean, I was out there making plays, um, my feet, my arm, um, against a good Florida football team. At yeah. the end of the day, SEC football is no joke. Right. Um, but the ACC can hang right with them. Um, so, yeah, man, I mean, I'll say definitely Florida football. I you see how he got that in. The ACC can hang right with him. Yes, sir. 100%. Yes, sir. I'm not sure about well, that, but well, okay. <laughs> the, the people who set the four teams for the playoff yes, sir. weren't convinced of that. 100%. How was that? Because yeah. you wouldn't have been able to play anyway, but still, mm -hmm. the idea you guys had a special season and you didn't yeah. get the recognition and the opportunity to compete for the championship. Yeah. Um, we always say defense wins championships ever since I was a little boy. Um, and our defense was so special. Um, I think that was the one thing, I mean, that set us apart from everything else. Yeah, our, our offense was good the entire year, but the defense is what made us who we were. Um, I think you're, we're seeing it here at the Combine. You got D'Lo, Fisk, um, Fabo, all these guys that were out there just running fast and yeah. jumping high, so yeah. all that type of stuff. So I think it just it speaks volumes. I think that everything that happened was wrong. I do. Um, but you can't control it, so you just got to move past. and. I'm looking forward to seeing Florida State win a lot of football games next year. You're going to put any emphasis, right? I know there's going to be talk about uh, your size, right? You know, and I know you can't really lift as probably aggressively as you'd like right now and is show there. your true self and what you can, you know, be there. But is that a is that an emphasis for you to maybe put on a little weight, put yeah. a little armor on? Yeah, I mean, I think like that's one of the easiest things for me. I mean, this year I started out 215. Okay. Um, no one thinks I was 215, but I mean, yeah, I would I would have thrown the challenge flag on that too. Yes, but uh, now that you're saying 100%. it to me in person, I'll yes, believe sir. you. Yeah. yeah. So, so I weighed 207 last week. So obviously it goes up and down. Obviously you can't really work out this leg. So yeah. I feel like once I, I mean, once I'm healthy again, man, I'm it's easy to put weight on. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I feel like this past year I was very good. And I mean, other than obviously this freak injury that I couldn't control and weight couldn't help me with this one, um, I was I was healthy throughout the yeah, entire no, year. Yeah, you were stuck. I was watching actually live, uh, just sitting there. I happened yes, to be watching the game, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Yes, sir. Yes, here sir. goes the college football. All the crap's <laughs> gonna hit the fan here. Yes, I mean, it's a damn shame that the injury happened when it did, and somebody's gonna get a steal. I mean, that's the bottom line. They yeah. put too much emphasis, right. I think, on this short term. Like, why should it matter? This yes, guy sir. can play. Right. Why should he slide? Right. Somebody's gonna get. A hell of a good quarterback, 
later than they would have if you'd have been healthy. And it's not fair to you, but it's just kind of the way it is. There's nothing you can really do about no, it. No, I know. Except wait for your chance and and prove everybody that maybe they should have, maybe they should have had more faith in 100%. me when they had the opportunity to I take me. I agree with you. I do agree. Yes, sir. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm just looking for an opportunity. That's all I need. And I'm going to make an NFL football team very happy one day. So that's all I'm waiting for is opportunity, man. And I'm going to make the most of it. So Tom Brady said to Robert Kraft, I'm the best decision you ever made. <laughs> sir. Sir. Yeah, I, you didn't ask it, but your brother, sir. right? He played in the NFL. He played uh, oh, MLB. MLB, yes, baseball. Yes, baseball. What position does he play? Well, he played second base. Second base? He's a little guy. Yes, do, you, do, you, do you rely on him for yes, advice on how to handle this next transition to pro, pro yeah. sports? Um, well, that's my guy. Um, right. My brother's my best friend. He's 10 years older than me, but he's always been there for me. Um, he was 16, I was 6, and he was still driving me around to all of his friends' houses. And i just always been... His, his best man. So, I mean, he's the person I talk to every day about this type of stuff. Um, he just motivates me and tells me to keep going, stay positive. And he's helped me through this process, um, this injury, um, and all my ups and downs throughout my career. So I'm so grateful for him, for sure. Did but, you get to spend time in clubhouses with him when he was playing? Did you get a chance to go in there? Um, so mainly FSU. That was okay. after every single game I used to go back there when I was a little boy, and that's kind of where my I love for Florida State yeah, grew. Yeah, figured. So, right. That's where it happened. Do you play baseball? I did when I was young, but I got hit in the head when I was probably about eight years old. And ever since then, I've, you I've said been the hell with that's that. That's it. I'll go, that I'll, go to the most, me. I'll go to the more dangerous exactly. sport yeah, and play exactly. football. But you get hit by that ball one time, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Yeah. No more. That's it. That is now, it. Now he's volunteering for 350-pound guys <laughs> to <laughs> knock his head exactly. off. But at least he can exactly. run away yeah. from them. You can't yeah. run away from that right. ball. Yeah, no no one is coming right at you. You're right about that. All right. Hey, Jordan, congratulations on your success. We're sorry about what happened to you. We look forward to seeing what you can do once it's ready to go and everything's healthy. Somebody's going to get a hell of a bargain, and we can't wait to see you play in the NFL. Texas, so you kind of opened the door for us a little bit yes, to get in that car. So thanks for that, though. I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> yes, Jordan yes, Travis, sir. we'll be back with plenty more. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.